Ang kutyo. Will you use this one? Ang kung yung napakahamantok. Nakaprise, di ba? President, please be seated. The floor is now given to the prosecutors to resume the lines of questioning. You may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Sir, before the break, uh, you told us about someone who would, was, I guess you'd call him Tabal's deputy, who would be in charge when he was absent. Can you tell us how often Tabal was absent from the work site? But <coughs> I do not know whether he was absent very frequently. Sometimes chiefs of battalion said Taval was not present. So I knew about this through chiefs of battalion. Question. Do you know where he was or where he went when he was not present? Do you know where he was or where he went when he was not present? Ano na da answer réponse He disappeared perhaps uh, he may have been arrested Il a disparu il est possible qu'il ait été arrêté by the southwest zone catch par le cadre du sud-ouest C'est une pure présomption de ma part in the period before he arrested, it was arrested and disappeared. Do you know who his superior was? Do you know who he reported to? Answer. I do not know. The superiors above Je him, perhaps uh, the report supérieurs. was uh, submitted to the sector. Peut-être que le I rapport était envoyé au secteur. Who were above him? Je ne sais pas qui était son supérieur. And did you personally ever Question. report your work results vous, directly to Tabal? Avez-vous jamais Tabal? fait rapport de vos travaux, des résultats de vos travaux directement à Tabal? But at Answer: No, I never reported Réponse. directly to non, jamais. Tabal. Je I jamais was fait uh, l à Tabal. very low in the Moi, high ranking un rang bien, in the in the structure. Bien peu élevé. I uh, never reported to Tabal. Et je jamais fait de rapport okay, à Tabal. thank you. I want to ask you now about Merci. a celebration que parle, that you describe um, in your DC Cam interview. Un événement. That, that fell, that, that seemed to be a combination of a Khmer New Year celebration and a Liberation Day celebration. So around the 15th, 16th, 17th of April. Can you tell us about that celebration? Can you tell us about that celebration? It was in my new year and uh, the anniversary of the 17th of April uh, was quite close. The date was quite close to each other. There was a meeting. Les unes des autres. The meeting was held in Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. And, uh, I was in a separate meeting, Moi, you know, in my area and listened to réunion, what was uh, described during the meeting. Ce qui the se the Khmer New Year uh, fell on uh, the 12th, said the witness, 13th, and uh, 14th April. Le Nouvel Ankhmer était, cette année-là, les 12, 13 et 14 April. April. Uh, uh, and uh, the Khmer New Year was held on the 12th, said the witness, 13th, and 14th April. And the Khmer New Year was held on the 12th, said the witness, 13th, and 14th April. And the Khmer New Year was held on the 12th, said the witness, 13th, and 14th April. And the Khmer New Year was held on the 12th, said the witness, 13th, and 14th April. Just one morning on that day. And do you remember whether there were any musical performances, any songs as a part of that celebration? De la musique.
Are they? Repose. Answer. No. No. After the meeting, we went back to our uh, work Après sites, réunion, nous sommes retournés our respective work sites. I'd like to ask you about something that you said in your DC CAM statement. Vous citer chose this is English 0072-6120, Khmer 0005-7440. And French 0074-3250-51. So you were asked about this celebration, and you told us much of what you've just told us now, that it was a merger of the 17th April anniversary and the Khmer New Year. And then the interviewer said, and you said, and they, they held a meeting during these three days. The interviewer asked, right here? And your answer was, quote, right. They held it at the reservoir with musicians and dancers. However, they danced with their uniform and, we and weapon. I Mr. President, I'm not sure if there's a technical problem. I don't hear myself anymore. Uh, je ne sais pas s'il y a, Monsieur le Président, un problème avec la tapotation. Je ne m'entends plus dans les écouteurs. No. Sorry. Oh, out of. Uh okay, it was just a battery issue, apparently. Sir, I'll, I'll read your answer to you again. You said, quote, right, they held it at the reservoir with musicians and dancers. However, they danced with their uniform and weapons. The content of the songs they sang was all about arresting the Vietnamese enemy and the Lan Nol enemy, unquote. Sorry, I'm having bad luck. Uh, sir, do you remember that, uh, that answer from your DC CAM statement? And if so, can you explain to us something about those songs? Answer. The theatrical performance, I may have confused. Pièce de théâtre, enfin peut-être me suis-je trompé. The theatrical performance was uh, happened during the marriage ceremony. Cela s'est fait pendant la cérémonie de mariage. The dancers, performers were Donc, in les danseurs black clothes, and I observed uh, many people were dancing with their weapons de gens on avec their leur, leurs shoulders. Armes, uh, à la, à Perhaps. Uh, Perhaps uh, the dancer at that time were accused of being enemies. Il est possible que l'on ait accusé ces danseurs d'être des ennemis. And that was the performance, it's not the uh, real scene of uh, fighting at that time. Fictif. And uh, there was, you know, the performance of a uh, soldier firing uh, weapons at each other, and after that, uh, they sh shouted that uh, vic the victory of the victory of the 17th April. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, maybe I'll just ask this. Do you remember at any point hearing songs about arresting the Vietnamese enemies and arresting the Lan Nol enemies? But Anu Nkale Nieto answer. Repose. It was during the time back when I uh, was in a cooperative of uh, Vietnamese ethnic pendant que j'étais dans la coopérative, ethnic, uh, les were arrested. On avait arrêté les Chinois et les Vietnamiens de souche. But focusing precisely on songs, Question. do you remember oui, les songs about that subject, about, about the arrest of the Vietnamese? Chansons sur les Vietnamiens. Okay. 
réponse. Answer. I cannot recall non, the je ne content me souviens of the pas song. des paroles des It chansons. C'était il y a très longtemps. Et je ne me souviens pas des paroles. And dancers. Ok, so then going back to what you just mentioned, the arrest of Vietnamese in the, in the commune, uh, can, you, can you tell us a bit more about that, and in particular if you have some way of estimating the number of Vietnamese who were arrested? Answer. I cannot say how many Chinese and uh, Vietnamese ethnic de Chinois et de Vietnamese were arrested. Ont été the whole families are, were arrested. Ont été arrêtés. First, uh, they arrested uh, husbands. Ils ont d abord, d abord, after which, it was the mari. time uh, the wives and children après, they were taken de, away to elsewhere. Ils étaient and I did not know the whether they were killed. Non, je ne sais pas s'ils ont été tués. Uh, can you tell us what means of transportation was used to take them away? Answer. It was a military trucks. C'était des camions militaires. The color, the uh, the green color. And are you able to estimate the time period when this happened, a month and year? Vous êtes en mesure de nous dire vers quel mois, de quelle année cela s'est produit? But answer. The transportation of wives and children of The husbands happened perhaps at 10 or 11 in the morning. The vehicles were heading uh, southward. I did not know where the vehicles were heading to, I mean the destination. I was uh, there working in the field, build, building the environment, uh, growing potatoes. I was there working in the field, I heard people say uh, the wives and children and also husband uh, had to be transported to live elsewhere. And I do not know whether ailleurs. they were taken away to be killed. And is it Question. correct that that this happened in the period before you were working on the Trapiang Tamal dam website? But réponse. Answer. It was before the time of the time when I was at the Topiang Tamal Dam website. Perhaps it was in early. Peut-être était. 2000. 76 said the witness. Au début de l'année 2076, dit le témoin. Uh, the translation was that it was in Question. 2076, vous, but I assume you're referring to 1976. Dans l'interprétation, j'ai entendu 2076, mais j'imagine que vous voulez faire référence ici à 1976. Martin. Réponse. Answer, yes, it oui, was oui. in 1976. 1976. I uh, confused. Uh, Excusez-moi, je me suis trompé. Said wrongly, it was in mid 1976 or late 1976. Okay, thank you. So I want to direct your attention back now to your time at the at the dam work site, and I want to ask you about a location called uh, Ville Takui, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Can you tell us what that place was and what it was used for during your time at the work site? Answer. Ville Takui was the field. And uh, the agriculture 
pour l'agriculture. Was uh, done at that place in Wheel Takui. Mm. Corpses of uh, corpses of members. Des cadavres. From mobile units were buried Des in that Wheel Takui. Des ont été enterrés à Wheel Takui. Mm. All corpses uh, were not buried in one uh, major or big Les pit. Uh, pas tous dans those une bodies seule fosse. were uh, buried this and there. Ils ont été so how far was uh, Ville Takui Question. from the place where you normally worked on a daily basis? How many uh, meters or whatever away was it? Votre travail, en mètre ou en kilomètre. It was Réponse. close to the base of the Pyangmore Dam work site. Pied du barrage. The reservoir on the one side and close to it, it was Ville Takui. Question. And you've, you've mentioned that corpses of mobile unit workers were buried there. How do you know that? How do you know that corpses were buried there? Did you see it? Did someone tell you? Did you learn about it in some other way? Answer. I was going to relieve myself at that time and I smelled uh, the odor, uh, and uh, the discomposed body was uh, under the ground, uh, and I could see it from in my naked eye when I was uh, going to relieve myself. And so, did this happen on only one occasion that you went to relieve yourself and smelled the smell, or did this happen on a regular basis? But but answer. I it happened only once. Non, I was, I went to relieve myself and I, I noticed uh, there was a bad smell and uh, the discomposed body under the ground. And, and after that time I never uh, went past that area je and je as I mentioned during that time, there were only improvised uh, latrines, the dig that we dug uh, deep, perhaps uh, one meter deep, uh, with a two stick uh, on top, and we could squat and relieve ourselves. Did you ever personally Question. witness anyone being killed uh, at Ville Takoui or elsewhere? Témoin oculaire. Answer, no. Réponse. No. I have never seen. Je ne jamais vu. Okay, thank you. Question. So I'd like I'd like to ask you a little bit about arrests in your unit. Au sein de votre unité. Are you aware of any workers ever being arrested or disappearing si for any ont été reason? Arrêtés ou ont disparu? Réponse. Answer. No, no mm. one disappeared from my unit. Mm. But uh, some of them uh, fled the unit and Mais went back to enfui. their homes, their homes in uh, cooperatives. Dans leur, uh, et leur and what about Question. outside your platoon? Are you aware of any workers outside your platoon si being arrested? Il y a eu des arrestations à l'extérieur de votre section. Answer. I minded only what happened within my Moi, unit. We were in different units. Unit. I do not know about that. Il y avait des I do pas not ce know passé. whether there were arrests in different dire, units. Des arrestations dans les autres unités. I'd like to read you another passage from your interview with the DC CAM, the Documentation Center. Uh, and the site for this is English 0072-6119, Khmer 0005-7739, and French 0074-3249.
and you were being asked generally about arrests and disappearances. The question to you was, had people been notified before they were taken? And this was your answer. Quote, even people who had worked next to each other did not know. Only after they had been taken did we know it. For example, you are told that you have been transferred to work in another squad, and you respond, let's do it in the morning. They would not agree. They would order you to go right away at that night. They asked for the person's clothes, and immediately after the person had left the hall, he or she was arrested." In that answer, there are a number of details. Um, it's, it's based on a ruse of a transfer to a new unit. They ask for the person's clothes. They talk about leaving the hall. Does any of that refresh your memory about something that you may have seen or heard about at the Trapping Tmaw Dam work site? But Akade's answer regarding the disappearances, à propos des disparitions. members uh, were removed from uh, one particular unit uh, and placed in another unit. For example, Mr. Moon, my exemple, chief, Moore, was removed chef, and uh, reassigned to live in another unit. And uh, from my assumption, unité. perhaps he may have je died because uh, I have never seen him back. Did you ever see him at any time after he was supposedly transferred to this new unit? Qu'il ait été transféré à cette autre unité, supposément. Ma réponse. Answer: No. No. I have never seen him back after that time. Je ne l'ai jamais revu. I do not know where he went. Je ne sais pas où il est allé. Du it was the time when the southwest zone cadres uh, came to replace the previous cadre, and I de la zone could assume sont that uh, he disappeared. Du nord Donc, je présume qu'il a disparu. And uh, do either of those other details from from this DC CAM statement, I, does that apply to, to what happened to Mon? Uh, did he leave a hall? Was he asked to leave his clothes behind? Is it applicable to Mon? Is it that we asked him to leave his clothes, to leave the hall? Answer. The back. The back uh, oh, was there. The 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 back uh, was uh, brought by him the, the at that time, and uh, he did not uh, get uh, him his clothes off and put in the back. He oui. went with his back. And did he go sac. by himself, or was he taken Question. away by some people Et for this new assignment? But answer. He went by himself at that time. He told me that uh, he was removed and he left. After he, he told me, I uh, went to work, and later Après on, dit, uh, I have never seen him. He disappeared. Okay, I want to ask you about just one more thing from your. DC CAM interview, and this follows immediately after the portion I just read to you. You were asked, were the ones who came to take people civilians or soldiers? And you said, quote, generally speaking, they had black uniform and carried rifles. This was the uniform of their soldiers, unquote. Does that refresh your memory about people with black uniforms and rifles ever taking people away? Answer. I have never seen these people. Je ne les ai jamais vus. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Mr. President, no further questions. Merci, Monsieur le témoin. Je n'ai plus de questions, Monsieur le Président. 
le président. President, thank you, Merci. Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Uh, the floor is now given la chambre des to the defense teams aux for de the accused. First, uh, begin by the defense team for Mr. Nguyen. You may now la parole est donnée à la défense de Nguyen. Maître Co. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Um, good afternoon. Bon good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Monsieur, Monsieur le Témoin. Um, I would like to ask you first a question um, about the period before 1975. Uh, you said that you um, joined the Lonol military in 1972 uh, and that you uh, at one point in time became a corporal. Did I understand that correctly? Mm. Answer. Before 1975, Avant in 1972, 1972, I may say, I was a low-ranking uh, soldier, soldier, not corporal, but uh, surgeon, pas sergeant, en fait. or private. Ou plutôt même, non, j'étais en fait un simple soldat. Um, I, in the English translation, I heard, maybe I heard it wrongly, sergeant, or did you, did you say something else? Answer. I was a private uh, at that time. I did not hold any rank of a corporal. Pas le rang de corporal. And um, what were your duties as a private in the Lonol Army? What, what was Et it that you, that you did? Were you involved in active combat uh, against the Khmer Rouge? Avez -vous participé à des combats contre les Khmer Rouge? Answer. I have Réponse. told already I uh, was a private. Comme je dit, simple soldat. I uh, participated in the battlefield uh, two or three times at the district. Dans le district. Été au champ de bataille dans le district deux ou trois fois. Sorry, I didn't hear the answer, but now I've Maître been briefed je... by my colleague. Thank you. Désolé, je pas um, entendu la réponse, mais mon confrère l'a soufflé. Merci. So, did I understand correctly that you were involved in active combat, that Et you were actually fighting uh, Khmer Rouge soldiers, that you were um, firing arms, etc.? But, but my main answer, mm -hmm. yes, I was in Réponse. active combat. Oui. Um, did you, during that active combat, um, kill ces Khmer Rouge tué soldiers? Des soldats Khmer Rouge. Answer, I did not know at that time whether the bullet si hit uh, si les balles uh, the la opposing party, and I do not know whether the, the bullets that I shot uh, hit the target. Si, uh, tué um, did I understand correctly that you were Question. stationed in Phnom Srok district? Si um, compris, if yes, was that... Um, during your whole time as a Lono soldier. Et c'était tout au long de votre de la période où vous étiez dans l'armée. But 
answer yes, that is true. We should accept. When you were a soldier between uh, 72 and 1975, uh, have you ever witnessed um, captured uh, Khmer Rouge soldiers being uh, decapitated, their heads being decapitated? Des soldats Khmer Rouge qui avaient été faits prisonniers. Answer, no, I, I have never seen uh, such incident. In um, your biography um, that you were obliged to make uh, after 17 April 75, um, did you indicate uh, that you had held a, a small position within the Lonel Army. Vous aviez eu une position ou un poste dans l'armée de Lonel de Baran. Bad, your man, river up answer. That touch it here, Lonel. I fear in the biography that I was a former Lonel soldier, but I. Could not hide uh, the biography of a long period of time. Tenir secret cette biographie pendant très longtemps. And the beginning, I uh, was a, a guard. Au début, j'étais garde. And then I Puis, became a private. Je suis devenu soldat. After 17 of April 1975, I was able 1975, to hide my biography, but for a short period of time only. De cacher ma biographie, mais seulement pendant une courte période de temps. Let me read to you um, what you have stated to um, DC Chem, Mr. Witness, and then I will ask your reaction. Um, that is on English here and um, 00726111. Uh, French 00, 00743240 and Khmer 00057730. Uh, you, you stated as follows. At that time, I wrote that I also had joined the army, but I held a small position. Under, under his supervision, a chief asked me. I told him that I was a soldier for three months. A new chief came and he started screening my background again. I wrote that I was a soldier for one month prior to peace. When another new chief came, I wrote that I had been a, in a village self-defense unit. Uh, does this refresh your memory? Is this what you wrote in your uh, various biographies after, 19, after 17 April 1975? But <coughs> réponse. Answer. Oui, j'en ai écrit. Oui. Yes. Parce que, comme je vous l'ai dit, euh, j'ai été soldat you, pendant quelques mois. I was a soldier tard, for some months. Il euh, euh, y a une succession. Enfin, le and premier chef a été euh, remplacé par un autre et après, euh, je suis devenu garde de village. Et par la suite, je suis devenu un village. simple citoyen euh, du village. And I subsequently became a simple inhabitant of the village. Um, but if I understood correctly, um, earlier this afternoon, uh, you said, uh, quote unquote, that uh, if it was found out, uh, lone Knoll soldiers would be killed. Um, but you yourself, although having minimized it, but you yourself have written, had written in biographies that you were that you had been, in fact, um, a lone Knoll soldier. So, 
Can you explain that to me? Why was it that you apparently weren't killed because you were alone also? Je suis très tolérant. That was known, and apparently uh, you were unharmed despite that knowledge. Is that, is that uh, how I have to understand it? Answer. As I said initially. À l'époque, j'étais sous l'administration des period, gens du Nord-Ouest et sous l'administration du chef de mon village même. Si je n'avais pas caché ma biographie, uh, il m'aurait arrivé un, un, un accident, accident ou quelque chose de malheureux. Et some à l'arrivée des gens du Sud-Ouest, j'ai caché... Following the arrival of the people of the Southwest Zone, I concealed my identity and my biography. Um, very well, uh, Mr. Witness, I will now move on to another subject, and that is um, Taval. Um, you um, testified Uh, earlier that he was a, uh, a cruel and frightening man. Um, you are not the only witness who um, uses such qualifications. Um, do you remember um, being relieved uh, that he was arrested sometime in June 77? lorsqu'il a été arrêté quelque part en juin 77. Réponse, non, je n'ai pas été soulagé parce que I was not relieved. Uh, après la, son arrestation, les gens Because du Sud-Ouest ont pris le arrested, pouvoir et donc je suis resté toujours uh, dans une ambiance so de peur, uh, dans un climat I de peur. Uh, J'avais peur de mourir, c'est-à-dire uh, que je ne savais pas quand uh, c'était quand mon tour uh, et donc Because je I ne faisais know que déployer mes efforts pour so uh, travailler uh, et to je mis beaucoup de cœur dans no la réalisation de mon travail work, parce que de, de par le passé j'étais un soldat de l'ONOL et je me souviens toujours de mon identité de soldat Army quand j'étais soldat de l'ONOL. J'ai toujours essayé de concilier mon identité comme un soldat de l'ONOL. Vous avez dit dans votre statement à uh, DCCAM Uh, Mr. Witness, English 00726114, um, French 00743244, and Khmer 00057734. You stated um, as follows those members of Companies with close link to Taval and his direct subordinates disappeared. 
However, those company chiefs who were not close to Taval, to, sorry, to Taval survived. De Taval ont survécu. Um, can you expand a bit um, vous nous on this answer? Uh, why was it that people who were close to Taval were arrested and the other ones were left unharmed? Mark, non catch, Answer. Dans ma précédente déclaration, j'ai dit que si euh, Taval était arrêté, ses proches l'étaient également. Et ceux qui étaient When Taval was arrested, de those Taval, close to him were also arrested. Pas, donc And ils étaient cons... those who were not... certains ont pris la fuite those who were close pour to Taval éviter d'être arrêtés. Fled. Some of them fled to avoid being arrested. But were you yourself close to Taval? Étiez-vous proche de Taval? Réponse non. Answer no. J'étais bien loin de Taval. I was very far removed from Taval. I was not close to him at all. So would it then be fair to say for me that, um, considering your own answer, you yourself uh, didn't fear didn't fear arrest because you weren't close to Taval? Réponse. Answer. Je n'étais pas proche de Taval. I was not close et to Taval. Ceux qui étaient proches de Taval euh, étaient arrêtés. C'est-à-dire que c'était son entourage that is, euh, qui mangeait those avec lui, par exemple. Alors que moi, je n'étais rien du tout. Et donc, euh, who euh, ate with him, whereas I wasn't pas that avoir close peur to him, de, so I didn't have to be afraid euh, of en fait, arrest. Plutôt peur, hein, de as a matter passé, of fact, euh, I was rather afraid de of my en fait. past as a former Lon Nol soldier. I understand, um, Mr. Witness. Um, how did you come to observe um, that those close to Taval were arrested. Did you see that with your own eyes or did you hear that? How did you acquire the knowledge that um, people close to Taval uh, were arrested? Answer. Les ses subordonnés um, faisaient les va-et-vient entre le, là où ils étaient et là où travaillait Taval. Ils faisaient un rapport à Taval. Taval was working, et donc, reporting les, to lorsque him. Taval était arrêté, And avait été arrêté, les autres arrested, euh, se, se sont enfuis euh, Those pour people euh, fled. quitter leur euh, unité mobile. C'était tout simplement unit. ma supputation and just vanished. And do you remember who these people were? Réponse. Answer. Beaucoup de temps s'est écoulé. Donc, That happened a long time ago. Sre, uh, se sont enfuis aussi. The Je inhabitants si of Sre also no. fled. I do not Donc know whether they are moi still de, alive or not. Uh, so it is difficult for me to give sujet. you any precise details on that subject. Uh, did these um, close links um, to Taval or his direct subordinates Uh, flee to Conkling Mountain. Est-ce que ces personnes ont pris la fuite à Conkling, la montagne?
Ensuite à l'arrestation de Tavares, following Tavares arrest, fled. Comme leur ses bras droits, mais je ne suis pas capable de vous dire où exactement ils sont. And I am unable to tell you exactly where they fled to. Now, have you heard at the time or maybe later what the reason was? that Aval and his close um, or his direct subordinates were arrested? Why was it that they were arrested? Réponse <coughs> Answer. À vrai dire, je l'ai appris par l'intermédiaire de chef de bataillon. Et donc là, après que Tabal a été arrêté, ces gens-là ont la fuite. Quand Tabal a été arrêté, ces gens-là fuient des chefs de bataillon. So I heard about it from the battalion chief. But was Taval um, arrested? Were his subordinate, subordinates arrested because they had committed a crime or they had done something wrong? Do you know? Aucune idée. I have no idea. Euh, les euh, proches de Taval euh, Taval's close euh, faisaient l'objet d'arrestation. Were arrested. There is a, uh, uh, a unit leader um, in the mobile unit who has testified uh, to investigators uh, and has said that um, Taval was ultimately killed because Taval himself was also a killer. Is that something that you have heard? Réponse, non, je ne sais pas Answer, euh, les raisons pour lesquelles il a été arrêté. Je savais tout simplement qu'il avait été arrêté. All I know il is était that he was arrested. Euh, effectivement un bourreau. Euh, parce he was que, indeed an executioner. Euh, il donnait des ordres à ses subordonnés euh, immédiats. Euh, et donc euh, je ne peux pas vous dire pour so quelles raisons il I a été arrêté. Je ne peux pas vous dire pour quelles raisons um, just for completeness sake, Mr. President, I was referring to a statement of um, a witness in E3-7805 uh, uh, English ERN 00277815 Khmer 00267743 and French 00315174. And Your Honor, I, I just, in light of counsel's comment, I would just make one comment for the record as well. Uh, that same statement at English ERN 00277817 Khmai 0026-7746, French 0031-5177, says that Taiyun, who came from the southwest, arrested and killed many people. 
and Taeyun was Taval's replacement. For the completeness of the record, Taval the killer was replaced by someone that this witness also describes as a killer. I think the prosecution is now arguing. Um, I was referring specifically to Taval, and I was speaking about Taval. Whether his replacement um, was involved in something else uh, is, I don't think, at this stage relevant. Um, it says here clearly um, he was killed during the Khmer Rouge era because he was also a killer. Uh, uh, anyway, um, Mr. Uh, witness, have you ever heard of uh, Taval? and his subordinates being involved uh, in starting an armed rebellion against the Khmer Rouge? Answer? I am not aware of that. I do not know whether there was a rebellion. All I know is that Taval was arrested and that subsequently Yun came to take over from him to control and supervise work on the Trapiang Tama Dam work site. Thank you, uh, Mr. Witness. Now, um, earlier uh, this afternoon, you um, were testifying as to um, targeting of um, people of Chinese ethnicity. Uh, you also uh, refer to this uh, in your DC Chem statement. Um, but can you be a little more specific? Um, how do you know that people who, were, who had a Chinese background were arrested? And where did this happen and when? How did you find that out? Answer. Des Phnom Penh ont été déplacés à, dans cette région. People et ont recherché des gens appartenant à, ou d'origine uh, chinoise ou uh, vietnamienne. Et comme je l'ai dit tout à l'heure, seuls les maris étaient arrêtés. Et, et il disait que les maris devaient aller travailler à quelque part et après il fallait sent y emmener également else. les femmes and et les enfants. Ultimately, voilà, je ne peux pas vous en dire plus. C'est tout, je ne peux pas vous dire plus que ça. But let's let's um, leave the, the Vietnamese um, descent of people who were arrested aside. Let's just um, focus on what you said about um, people with a Chinese background. Um, in your DC Chem statement, um, 00726113 in English, and in French, 00743. Um, 242 two. and command 00057732. Zero, 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 um, you said, and I quote you as follows A person would not be spared of his or her life when they knew that he or she had Chinese or Vietnamese blood. When she was young, my wife, my wife had, a, had fair complexion and she was alleged a Sino Khmer. She was not a Sino Khmer, but her father was from Takio, or maybe he had um, Chinese lineage. Um,
Can you expand on, on, this, on this targeting of people with Chinese lineage? Where did you hear this? What did you experience? Can you give me any explanation? Answer? That was in 1978. I was young. At the time, the term proposed asking for a person's hand in marriage. The person in question was a woman who was a soldier of the South-West Zone, and when Tanin was withdrawn, he was in charge of the, the fisheries section where my wife was working, and he said, I asked for my wife's hand in marriage. My wife was very fair in complexion, and it was said that she was of Chinese origin. But she was not really of Chinese origin. If you investigate further, you will find that that is the case, and you will be able to ascertain a real origin. That is why I said that people of Chinese origin were targeted. Um, if I understand it correctly, you're using an example of uh, what might have happened um, in an encounter with your wife. However, uh, in your statement, you said um, at the same page uh, that I just uh, mentioned, truckloads of alleged Chinese were taken to be smashed. What, what made you say that? What, was, what is your source of knowledge that truckloads of alleged Chinese were taken to be smashed? <coughs> Answer. I say so because once they were put on board the trucks and led away, those persons never returned. And so I infer from that that they had been led away to be executed or imprisoned. D'une supposition. Le that président, was an assumption um, on my part. Je vous ai informé de votre the president, devoir, votre I have informed you of your duty, your obligation, to tell the truth and euh, nothing but the truth. Et, euh, des faits, euh, qui relèvent des questions you are supposed to answer pas le droit de in respect of nous facts dire vos, uh, stated in the questions. You do not have the right pas to make assumptions. We do not need your assumptions. So si vous pas let me point courant, this out to you. Que vous if pas you do not know the answer to a question, just say that you do not know the answer and limit yourself only to what you are aware of. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, maybe one last question on this subject. Um, so it is, I'm asking you these questions because I don't think I've ever read anywhere or heard anywhere that uh, ethnic Chinese um, truckloads full of them were taken to be smashed. Um, is this something that you might have made up? Answer. No, that is not a figment of my imagination. I prefer to say, as the President has pointed out, while ago, all I can say is that I saw those people put on board trucks and led somewhere else, and I can't tell you any more than that. 
the, then maybe my very last question. How did you know that these people in the trucks were Chinese? Comment saviez-vous que les personnes qui étaient à bord de ce camion étaient chinoises? Et ce sera peut-être ma toute dernière question. Your Honor, just for the, the clarity of the record, the, it's a bit unnatural. The sentence in the statement is that they were Chinese and Vietnamese. Um, repeatedly asking the witness only about one half of the statement, a sentence missing a word in the middle, I think is likely to cause confusion. That's not correct, uh, Your Honor, because he's talking about Chinese people all the time. He's talking about his wife, he's talking about truckloads of Chinese a little further down. He's Your Honor, this statement is truckloads of alleged Chinese and Vietnamese persons were taken to be smashed. The word Vietnamese occurs immediately after Chinese. That's just not accurate. Yeah, but I, I will be asking about Vietnamese. Now I'm interested in the Chinese part of that parent truckload. I think I can make that distinction. So, Mr. Witness, the people that you saw, you, you said you saw on that truck, who were, according to you, Chinese, how, how did you know that these people were Chinese? Answer. J'ai appris cela par mes voisins qui disaient que les gens d'origine chinoise avaient été réunis, des musiciens, des villages disaient ça, et des femmes et des enfants préparaient leurs affaires personnelles pour monter dans ces camions. Et après, où ils sont partis, je n'en ai aucune idée. Et je ne sais pas où ils ont été. Merci. Le Président. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Merci, Maître Coppola. It is now Merci, time for the adjournment. Oui, the chamber oui, oui. will adjourn the hearings from now on, and it will resume tomorrow, the 20th of August 2015 at 9 a.m. And uh, it will continue to hear Witness Tabui, and then we will start to hear 2 TCW 841. Please be informed. Thank you, Mr. Tabui. The hearing of your testimony as a witness has not come to a conclusion yet. You are therefore invited to be here once again tomorrow at 9 a.m. You may now be excused. Court officers with West Unit. Veut les faire nécessaire en coordination avec la section d'appui aux témoins aux experts pour que M. Tacou retourne sur le Bring the two accused, Nunchi and Kisenpo, back to the ECC detention facility and have them returned back to the courtroom. Before 9 a.m., the court is not adjourned.